The other part, so that's our delivery that we'll have to be thinking about from our end. From the student's end, uh, what does this mean for them? What does it mean to be a student where they're learning in this way? And on the one, on the one hand, students are very, uh, oh, their life has been online. It, it just is. They, they, they don't always know how stuff works, but they know it works. <laughs> so, so what will that mean for them? They're comfortable being online. What does it mean to be a learner online? But then the next step, if you are training pastors and leaders in this type of realm, in this new reality, let's say, then do we need to insert that into our curriculum? Yeah. Like, do we need yeah. to actually have parts of our curriculum that that walk students through these issues? Do we want to actually be teaching them to use, here's how you use video conferencing online as part of a course? I don't know if we want to do that. I mean, how, how long did it, there's, there's video tutorials out there all over the place. These companies make it. Do we really want to take up time to teach them that in our class classes when actually there might be something a little bit more important at that moment but maybe it's something we at least expose them to look here's these things that we had to go through here's what churches had to go through i think having them um interact with practitioners let's say we bring guests into our class all the classes all the time uh, having having conversations with our pastors out there in some of our courses about what did it mean when you were faced with, wait a minute, this Sunday, nobody nobody's allowed to come to this building and and having our students face those realities. There's always that famous question that comes out or 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 rather, sometimes it's an assertion, you know, well, Bible college never prepared me for this. And that that on the one hand is a fair comment. And on the other hand, maybe not so fair because, who would predict this? Who would predict what happened, let's say, on 9-11 in 2001? We can't anticipate those types of things. And I've tried to communicate in other places. Um, we, we just want to provide a toolbox where pastors are given the fundamental tools that when they encounter new situations, they'll at least have a toolbox to help them sort through things with others and with the Holy Spirit's help, what to do. And here we actually saw that happening. There was no class I ever took in Bible college on what to do in a pandemic, right? Yeah, exactly. Although maybe sure. I wasn't listening maybe in Gary Milley's <laughs> church history class when, you know, Martin Luther was actually dealing with a pandemic. And it turns out he actually gave advice on that type of thing. But, you know, uh, maybe we missed taking notes on that day. You know, you, Luther made it through a pandemic and you can too. Uh, here's the five steps. We didn't, we didn't do that. But did we do we have the tools in place to begin to prayerfully think through some of these things and can we support one another? That's it's incredible what's happening uh, it, it, online right now. Uh, one of our our pastors, Dale Sanger, per, uh, put up a Facebook group, PAOC and PAONL pastors, and opened this up just about a couple of weeks before this this whole COVID thing broke. And what a blessing it's been. We have now, last count I looked, this was a couple of days ago, it was like 500, 536, yeah. and I'm sure it's grown past then. That's a huge number of our credential holders online. And he said, I, I set up this group just so we can encourage one another, provide ideas. And man, has that taken off. Like people are able to share their hearts. This has been a rough week this week. I don't know what to do. How do you turn on this machine? From everything from real technical stuff to... I don't, how do I help my staff? How do, and people are helping each other. It's just provided this forum. And so it's amazing what's going on. And that, that, um, that help and that support of one another is, I think we're prepared for that, to do that. That's going to help us as we manage these situations that we never expected it to look exactly like this. And yet we do have those tools in place. We do have know who to look to, to. And the trust level, I think, has just gone through the roof on uh, people encouraging one another, offering things, sharing when they, what didn't work. I mean, just the transparency there, uh, even to just share with like, you know, 500 people. I don't know what I'm doing this week. How do you do this? And to know it's a safe place. There's amazing things going on within. These are things God is doing in the midst of all this. And they're really very spiritually healthy things. And so that's what we want to keep up. And the Bible College wants to be a part of that. And I know probably our other colleges do as well. And it's amazing to belong to a fellowship that where that type of thing is going on. 